what goes on inside of these properties isn't only what go- the only thing that goes on inside of the development and what happens outside, how people interact with their neighbors and the property itself impact whether they want to renew leases, how much they want to pay in rents, how happy they are as, as a tenant. So there has to be one sheriff in town. So two ways to deal with that. If you're fractionalized ownership like us, there has to be an HOA. If it's one complex, right, then this becomes a little bit different. So we wanted to explore that a little bit more. What are some of the things that pop in your mind? Let's say we have 200 doors over here, 200 doors over here. One of them is one full property. It's one tax ID. The other is 50 properties. It's a bunch of bunch of fourplexes or something. What are some of the key differences in how that those communities would be managed? Well, let's talk about the 50 different units or... Well, that's a little more intensive, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that because that's what FIG is, right? Pretty yep. much. So as far as the HOA goes, if there's an HOA involved, which we like to set up, um, HOA is going to manage um, basically everything that's on the exterior. And it could be set up differently in different communities. If we're not talking about FIG, um, you can go different directions with it. But typically, you're going to have a clubhouse involved that's being managed and taken care of. You're going to have landscaping, snow removal, and then we can talk about different utilities that are involved as well, such as water, sewer, garbage, um, just anything on the exterior of the building. And the maintenance of the exterior of the building, which also the HOA is going to have insurance, which is going to cover the roof. That's a big thing that I know a lot of people ask about. But it's nice because if HOA is taking care of something, you know that every door in the project is going to be taken care of the same rather than if Chase, Steve, and I all own in one little project and we own thirds of it, Steve may take care of his lawn, I may take care of the exterior, and Chase may take care of you know some of the amenities. But mm-hmm. if his looks really crappy and mine looks really good and Steve's looks really good, he, Chase is going to bring down our value or vice versa. But if you have one person, one HOA in there managing the whole thing, making it all look good, it's going to help your investment over the long term. Yeah. And I think that's accurate in the real world. Chase would be the one to bring down the value. <laughs> that's right. Thanks for listening to the Build to Rent podcast. You are now just a few clicks away from joining our community of Build to Rent investors. All you have to do is follow our show on Facebook, LinkedIn, or wherever you're listening to this podcast. You can also watch this episode and more by subscribing to the Build to Rent podcast on YouTube.